Quite right. Let's talk about BP. Um, on the front page of the Financial Times, as is Satya Nadella, Nadella um, BP, this phrase, Great Britain is great and it ought to stay together. And I suppose what the BP chief is warning about is not necessarily what's happening to the thoughts of those in the UK, but to external investors outside the UK who perhaps don't quite understand the feeling around the referendum or how yeah. we're viewing it in the UK. Do you know, it's funny. I mentioned the immigration issue in terms of bringing in investment into the UK. Uh, 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 when I'm going around uh, countries like India and China, this is the second issue which really frustrates me and is misperceived outside. There's people actually thinking there's going to be a breakup of the United Kingdom uh, and the implications for the investments into places like Scotland. The amount of damage that this political issue of having a referendum has done economic damage. It's done also for Scotland, because you're going to think twice about investing. Wrongly think you twice. You think it's already having an impact, do you? It's already having an impact, because when I'm out there, as I say, with UK trade and investment, talking to people, we're trying to get that perception correct, that it's not going to break up. You should be investing in well, the world's sixth largest economy. I can and I will guarantee you it's not going to break up, and I will, I will eat my hat on this programme if there is a breakup of the United Kingdom. Uh, and Alex Salmond has probably caused more damage to Scotland as a result of having this referendum, insisting upon it, uh, a more economic damage, and when he loses it will be shown to have done so, uh, uh, because investors are thinking twice, sadly. Let's we know which way you would vote if, there was a if the referendum was applied to you. Together. Let's